Welcome back to NCSU Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Grace Derrick and happy National Weather Person's Day. We've had a, quite a lot of rain here in the Carolinas and it's been a weather person's dream. As you can see, Thursday at 7 a.m. we have this storm start to set up over the Carolinas and we have a little bit of rain here in Raleigh, but nothing super heavy at this point. At 3 p.m. we start to see this squall line really set up over the mountains of North Carolina. It continues to move its way into North Carolina where we see the squall line really get its act together. It is going to be powerful with rain and tons of energy and cold air as it moves into our area. At 7, we see it continue to plow through, and at 9, it moves away from us. And Friday, we are going to have nice, beautiful, clear skies. But if we take a look, we have to remember that we are in a enhanced risk all the way from Georgia up to the Piedmont of North Carolina. And if we take a little bit of a closer look at home, you can see that right here in Raleigh, we are under a slight risk with our friends here, Durham, Chapel Hill, and Apex under the same risk currently. Right here in Stanford, you are under an enhanced risk, which means you are going to have a little bit more rain, heavier winds, and potential spin-ups for tornadoes. North er, In Raleigh, we are not clear of that, but you also need to be paying attention to the weather because we can have this enhanced risk move Move up into the Raleigh area and experience a little bit more intense of a storm tomorrow. There's a lot of forecast uncertainty with this forecast because of the timing of this squall line and when it is going to move through our area. Depending on the heating of the day and the movement of the storm, we don't know the exact intensity or the timing of it. Going back to that intensity, we also don't know how much rain we're going to get. Because these storms are traveling all one on top of another, we're going to get a lot of rain here in North Carolina, especially in the Triangle. It's going to look like a wet summer here, even though it is only February. If we take away nothing from this broadcast, I want you to know that there are going to be damaging winds tomorrow. Be aware of this as you are traveling. Also, flash flooding. If you hear that siren go off on your phone, make sure you are paying attention to the floodplain and flooding around you that is occurring. Also, when you feel that cold pool, know that the gust front of that storm is about to be there and you are going to feel that cold air push through and that's the energy of that storm that's coming through our area. So make sure you tune into your local news and you are paying attention to the squall line and its movement as it travels through the Carolinas. Take a look at this. Thursday, we still are going to be experiencing rain. Friday, a little bit of rain also, but check out that temperature difference. Friday, 59 degrees if we even get to that because this storm is going to bring so much energy and power and cold air into the area. Saturday we get that beautiful sunny Carolina blue skies. Saturday we have a little bit or Sunday am I sorry we're gonna have a little bit of cloud color and Monday we open back up to those Carolina blue skies again. From all of us at the NCSC Weather Center we wish you a very safe Thursday.